How's it, everybody? We are back with some more D24 Teardown. You can see I'm working on the block here. The block has been sitting with kerosene in the cylinders for three weeks, a month now, and it's still stuck. I've been trying it every couple days, and it's locked up solid. So now I'm going to take off the oil pan and try to rip out the whole rotating assembly from the bottom. And then once that's done, we'll be able to hopefully just pound the cylinders out but we'll see. Anyway, here we go. The oil pan is mostly 10 millimeters all around, but there's also two 13s in the back and two five millimeter Allen keys way up in it. And off we go. There's gotta be something like 30 bolts. So away we go. So here we go, going for that 5mm Allen key up in the back by the flywheel. And unfortunately, even with the extension and all the right tools, it's just not going to work. I'm getting a light here. But the Allen bit at the end of the extension is just too thick, and I can't quite reach it into that bolt. Can't really see what I'm doing with the light. But here's what actually ends up working. You get an Allen key and just some kind of hollow tube. Here I'm using a screwdriver. Play operation for about, I don't know, a minute. Try to find the, the hole. And this is tough. This was terrible. And it was also, unfortunately, the best system I found to do this. Get the Allen key. You try to line it up. And then once you get it in, you can get about... I don't know, third to a half turn out of it. And there's no shortcut to this. Maybe if you had a longer Allen or one on a screwdriver, but I don't. So it was a long process.
here we go I don't quite get the Allen keys out but I decided to move on to the last couple bolts this one is a 13 mil got to get at it with an end wrench and there's also a couple of 10 mils hiding up in here not really doing this for any particular reason just to uh, just to get it done and to give my squinting eye a break going after those Allen keys is pretty uh, pretty tedious so away we go And I had the genius idea to try to split it in the front first, maybe get a little bit more wiggle room out of those Allen keys, get some more space to play with, but it, it doesn't really end up working. I'm just stalling, really. But the fluid needs to be drained, so I drain it. Unfortunately, it's a little bit hard to see in this uh, in this shot, but there was a lot of green in that oil, so a lot of antifreeze in the oil. I don't know if I put it there or if it got in there from the blown head gasket. Either way, that's not a very good sign. Anyhow, we're able to split this and get most of the uh, most of the oil and junk and kerosene or whatever else seep down in there out. And off it comes, or off it starts to come. You can do it. I believe in you. And unfortunately, it's a little, again, a little bit hard to tell, but it's full of sludge. I get something to test its sludginess right here. That's not my finger. There you go. Grab the paper towel roll. That'll do great. Mmm, chunky. Now, I'm hoping a lot of that is just the kerosene that seeped in and antifreeze that seeped in while I was tearing it apart. And I hope that wasn't running through the engine, because that would not be good. And out it all goes, down into the bowl. And now you can really see it's it's pretty chunky. And now it's time to get the oil pump slash front main seal assembly off. This is all 10 millimeters. So you just got to undo the pickup tube first. All 10s, like I said. These have some uh, washers on them. And the fronts are all 10 millimeters as well. If you'll catch for a second, I try to undo a casting. It just so happens to be like a 10 millimeter casting right here. Not a bolt, moron. And luckily, unlike the oil pan, this thing has some nice bits to pry on. So we can get the whole thing off with the pry bar. Just be gentle. Make sure you get all ends of it. And this drops down and makes a huge mess, so if you startle easy, fair warning. It's going to plop right into my lap. Now 
I'm probably going to end up replacing this whole part. Ooh, nice save. Yay. And now it's time to just clean the whole thing up. Washing it down with some brake parts clean. I want it nice and clean because I want to label all the bearings and connecting rods. Just to be sure I don't lose them. And off they come. All of the connecting rod bolts are, or all the connecting rod nuts, excuse me, are 14 millimeter. And then all the main bearing bolts are 17. And it's slow going, so I speed it all up. need an end wrench for a couple of them. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like they'll slide out as easy as I had hoped. And here's my master plan on how to, like, rotate it. And like the label says, don't do it. This is dumb. Ping! Don't do it that way, moron. You're just lucky you kept all the teeth on your flywheel. And now I'm taking all the bolts out. My plan was to try to hammer out all of these pistons that I could and make it easier to rotate, but in the end, none of them want to come out. I think number four almost comes out, but I can't quite get it. Sausage fingers can't get in there. Here we go, I managed to get a bearing out. But no luck. This is for cylinder two, and I tried to hammer at it with a three pound sledge, and it doesn't work. I just pushed the stud right out the back of the connecting rod. So be gentle with it. Thankfully that's fixable. And here I'm just taking out every last fastener. My hope is to be able to free the entire crankshaft out the bottom and then be able to hammer out all the pistons, but it doesn't end up working. Give it a little wiggle. And there we go. Number four bearing. And this one I almost get out. You can see I actually hammer it back up until like top dead center almost. 
but it just doesn't want to go past the block. Try to prop it up so the tire isn't blocking it. No dice. can't pull the torque converter off because I still got this back plate on. Everything else can be pulled right out the bottom, but that's keeping it in there and I can't get it because the torque converter is on there. Hmm. some thought. 